today is Self Care Sunday and we'll be reviewing the at home 149 degree portable steam full body detox sauna tent. <laughs> So at this point, we are just unboxing all the pieces. We thought about setting up the sign in our living room for movies and such, but we realized that we probably want to hop in the shower right after steaming. So we'll be moving upstairs shortly where we'll go over each piece in a little bit more detail. If this is your first video, by the way, on our page, you'll find business and nonprofit tips, as well as self-care and relationship tips. Our mission is to help others identify and express their gifts through self-care and development. So take a look around and follow if you want to see more. So we're just taking the pieces out now. Each of the pieces are just like a tent. If you were to um, put up a tent going camping. So you're just kind of putting all the poles together. You want to make sure you look at the paper and follow the um, directions on there. I don't know if there were any previous videos. Um, we should have looked for some and tried to watch them because it was a bit complex to set up the uh, Amazon ad said 10 minutes and it definitely took us longer than 10 minutes so we're just getting all the pieces out now it does come with a chair as well as a remote as well as a carry bag um, but the reason why we moved it upstairs is we're not going to be taking it down and putting it back up uh, we'll probably just be keeping it up for a little while and so this is the manual we definitely want to go over that that was definitely beneficial and this definitely was a team project i would say as well now i want to take a couple of minutes and talk a little bit about the chair there was a couple of reviews that mentioned that the chair was a bit uncomfortable we did both find the chair pretty comfortable so we both enjoy sitting in the chair we've um utilized this sauna now several times so we'll talk more about that later on in the video but the chair is pretty comfortable so you guys may be wondering why we decided to get this sauna well on Sundays we like to find a way to unwind and reset hence the name self-care Sundays and a couple of months ago we decided to try hot yoga and we absolutely loved it if you guys want us to do a full review on hot yoga and what we think about it um just comment below and we'd love to do that as well um well we can't make it to the classes as often as we liked and we wanted to find a way to incorporate something like that experience at home and this was one of the options that we ran into and if sitting in 149 degrees does not sound like self-care to you i encourage you to just do something loving for yourself today most of us go through the week taking care of the ones around us but remember you cannot pour from an empty cup some of the benefits of sitting in the sauna are improved cardiovascular performance relaxes your muscles and joints flushes toxins relieves stress um, gets you into a deeper sleep it aids in weight loss you can burn up to 300 calories per session it aids in fighting illness and it cleanses the skin so now we're just setting up the rest of the tent um, what I have in my hand there is the flooring and as you saw there I just brought in two of our yoga mats because the idea that we have is that we'll get into the sauna and then we'll get on the yoga mat and do some stretching while our joints are nice and limber so we brought our yoga mats in as well and so now we're just kind of putting everything together this is the part that was a bit complex guys these poles were not very secure at all Yes, the poles were a bit hard to work with, as you'll see here in this upcoming section. Definitely a part where you need two hands, so you definitely want to do this with someone else. Uh, but once we got that cover on, it definitely became more secure and everything was a bit more secure. The benefits 
far outweigh the um, the difficult poles so we're just putting this all together here taking a minute to flirt <laughs> you can never have too much flirting and now I think it's about time for us to put the cover on <laughs> and yes as you can see we had a piece that we didn't quite know um, what it was for <laughs> so <laughs> we we figured it out it took us a little time but we figured it out so while we're figuring this portion out I want to talk a little bit about the steamer pot it does go up to 149 degrees and it has nine settings so nine different heat settings um, depending upon what you prefer uh, it also has six different types of settings for your timer so you can set it at 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes on up to 60 minutes I also think that it's neat that it comes with an extra piece that allows you to put herbs and teas and steam um, steaming herbs inside the steamer as well. So you can include lavender or any of the different herbs that are good for your skin or good aromatherapy and you can take your spa session to another level. Now someone else mentioned in the comments. Um, or the reviews that you can also change the chair so if you want to use a different chair or something of that nature then you can change the chair as well but like I said we found the chair very comfortable this is where you can see we're having a bit of trouble with the poles but as soon as that cover comes on it's going to clear the problem so we're finally going to get the cover on here in just a couple of minutes and this video is not sponsored or anything by the way guys this is just something that we wanted to try and uh, spoiler alert we absolutely love this thing we love this thing there are definitely some um, some areas that they could have improved in the design and we'll talk about that momentarily but we absolutely love this thing on the weekends I get in here like two or three times a day so we're gonna get this cover on. We have to, we'll figure out that we actually have to lift the entire frame and, um, and put it inside the tent portion, which we thought maybe it would have been a good idea to build it in that, but that could have been a user error. So he's just setting up the system that's going to be distributing the steam so there's a little pot that goes on the inside that connects to piping that's connected to that steamer pot there through another piece of piping and so he just set up the inside before we zip the tin up there and there's those those poles popping out again and as we're putting the tin on they're just going to kind of be popping left and right but once we get it on they'll be semi secure now we can never get the structure of this tent right and I'll talk a little bit more about that momentarily so as we zip this tent up you can see how it's out of line and it's still <laughs> like that to this day um we don't know if we just got a defective um product but it does the job we're not 
it does the job for us we tried to adjust it a bit and we cannot get it aligned so that's our one negative but the um, the pros definitely far outweigh the cons so now we're just trying to figure out how we're going to be getting in and out of the tent we wanted to try to figure that out before we started the steaming process because one thing that it reminds you of several times is that the little steamer pot in there is going to be hot and you don't want to touch it or anything like that and so we wanted to try to figure out how we're going to get in and out of this thing before um, we got the steam going and you'll find out momentarily here that I was making this a lot more complex than it really was so disregard my example here so yeah i could definitely read you got a remote right here that controls your steam i would say get in and get yourself situated and then let your partner um uh get your steam going you know what i'm saying instead of trying to get in the hot steam Hold on, pause. Yeah, so at this point, we're just kind of deciding uh, what types of things we can do in the sauna. If we're not just relaxing, could we also do a bit of multitasking as well? Um, now that I've gotten in the sauna a couple of times, I have a pretty good setup of what all I'll need before I even get in there. I would definitely suggest that you want to get yourself together and get everything that you'll need uh, before you get in because you are pretty confined. Now I'm trying to get out and I'm making this a lot harder than it is as well. <laughs> so you guys are just going to watch Robert. He's going to be getting in and out of the, um, the sauna as well. And he's going to do it um, the proper way. So this is, the, this is not the way to get in and out of the sauna. So here we go. Yours will be so super easy just because now we got the system honey, so it's not there. <laughs> I wonder how to be with the zip you sitting on you. That's the thing about my time is closed. So now I give you your pole to put in. Yeah. Just a, just a pure, uh, 
And that leads to our second critique is that they would have a bigger pocket, at least maybe for an iPhone, um, if not a magazine pocket where you could put some books, or maybe a tablet, but that might defeat the purpose of relaxing. So now I want you guys to watch Robert get out. You just remove the pole there and stand up. <laughs> and that's how you get out. So step one before you get into the sauna, you're going to turn the temperature down to a P5 or to a lower temperature so that you can gradually increase it uh, so you can determine what your body can stand. You also want to make sure you can see the screen and what temperature you're getting up to or going down to, unlike me in this video. This is the little pocket right here. I wish they had made a little bit more. You can probably see this thing, maybe, coming out of there. You can get my lens and let you see it. Yep, now you can. So I would definitely suggest getting in here with little to no clothes on and also having two additional towels, one for immediately when you get out and another one inside to kind of dab off any sweat if you don't like it rolling down your body. I also have found that a TV dinner tray can do wonders for your tablet, phone, a candle, water, etc. <laughs> What do you think, honey? You like? So as you can see, we have the box here. It is on P9, which is, is that the highest one? It is. For 20 minutes. I typically put it on P5. The water gets put in here. It does have a safety latch, and you don't want to open that um, without, um, without it cooling down first, of course, because that's steam, so that's a safety issue. And as you can see, the hose goes in there. And <laughs> he has two little arm holes. Let's do a steam check. We're gonna cut that out because that's his fiddle. <laughs> but I think the main part of the steam, well, how are you feeling now? How long have you been in there? As you can see. But I like your head being out because, again, you don't have to worry about head sweat. What review would you give it, honey? Five star, highly suggest. 
and I agree guys we absolutely love this product um, I use it all the time sometimes multiple times per day we will do an extended review to let you know what results we get from it as well if you guys want to see more videos like this please give this a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next Sunday for another self-care tip